Hello everyone, this is Chris Wilkie with Hosky Consulting, and today I want to teach you how to create a content calendar so that you can easily have content for your social media platforms on a weekly basis. Um, this is something that we learned a few years ago and we put in place for our, all of our clients, and it really helps you organize your thoughts and make sure that what you're doing is going with your goals for your social media strategy. So, this is just a simple tool. And I'm going to show you how to build it, how to use it, and then I will even show you what we do with it once it's all done. So the first thing I need you guys to do is pull out a Excel workbook. We just need one sheet, so just go on there. Some people will do multiple sheets, but I'll explain that as we go along. But what we're doing is we're going to build a calendar that is allowing us to put in the content we're going to post for a week. So there's going to be a few columns at the top we need to start with. First thing we need to start with is day of the week. What we're going to do is we're going to put what day we're going to be posting on it. Next is going to be the date. I actually want to know if it's December 22nd, November 22nd, whatever that is. Third one is going to be social media platform. This is going to be where you're going to decide which platform you're going to be posting on. Um, the next one is going to be the actual post slash tweet if you're going to be on Twitter. Um, I classify everything as post just because it's easier for us. I know that uh, Twitter it's a tweet, um, Pinterest it's a pin. There's, they vary on what they are but that is what I always do is just put post to make it easy on myself. The last one I do is I put media. And just so everyone knows, media includes links, video, pictures. I'm not actually going to drop the pictures in here. I'm going to either post the file name, the name of the picture, if so it may be like um, iPhone.jpg. So I know which photo to upload with it. Um, I also do, if it's a link, I'll go ahead and post the link in there. And then when I use Hootsuite, which is going to be the aggregator software that we're going to upload this into, I will actually put those links in and shorten them so they look a lot cleaner in the post. So let's do a few um, posts and we'll go through for my company Hosky. So say we want to work on next Monday. And that's going to be 12, or 11, 25, 13. Social media platform we want to post on is Facebook. What we want to do is we want to prom we want to uh, promote our newest campaign that we just launched, which is social media for a cause. For any of you that don't know, what that is is we are donating our entire income for the month of December to local charities in our area. So it's just a fun way for us to give back to the community that has given so much to us. So the post we're going to do is ha newest campaign. If not, what are you waiting for? So there's a post. Media I'm going to do is I'm going to put link to blog post. So it's as simple as that. And what I'm going to be doing is you just continue. So I can do Tuesday and it could be 11 26 2003 and I want to be posting on Twitter. I want to put out our newest campaign here and the link to the blog post can follow. So what what we're doing is we're laying stuff out and I can do multiple posts per day for different accounts. This just gives me a guideline. The reason we do this is because a lot of people who work on social media or at a small business, they really want to be active on social media, but they don't want to take the time to think of to posting stuff every single day. So what we do is we use this to help them guide them with what a week is going to look like and our clients can still go in and post on their on their own, but we write the content and we'll schedule these so they always have a social media presence. And then we also monitor the engagement engagement from that. So now once you have this done, what you want to do is save it. I'm not going to do that because I'm just giving you guys an example. And then we're also going to want to pull up Hootsuite. So you can go to h double o t s u i t e dot com and you're going to have this dashboard. We will do a few more video tutorials over the basics of Hootsuite because it is our favorite 
aggregator software there is there. All it means when I say aggregator software is that it pulls in all of the social media stuff that we do. So what I would do is I go up to the top here. I would copy and paste from my Excel document. So let's go ahead and do that. Copy, paste. I'm going to add in a link. So it's hosky.com. I'm going to shrink it. It's going to put that in there for me. Um, if I had a picture, I'd attach it here. If I wanted to schedule it, I know that I want to do November 4th. And some people with our clients, we actually schedule a time for them on the content calendar. Others, we don't. So since we didn't this time, I would add 10.30 a.m. on November 25th. And then I could add a location. But what else I do is I go in here and I make sure I pick out Hosky Consulting. That's a Google Plus page. There's our Facebook page. They don't actually give me a preview of what it's going to look like. So I can pick my images that I want to be there. So I want to be with this hands because I want to show that we are giving back to the community. And all I do is I hit schedule and the post is scheduled and it'll automatically go out of the date and the time that I selected. So I hope that helps you with how to build a content calendar and what you can use it for to help improve your social media campaigns. I'm Once again, I'm Chris with Hosky Consulting. Feel free to visit us at any time. Here's our website, hosky.com. You can learn about what we do, who we are, our packages, and even read more about us on our blog. Thanks and have a great day.